got the all-important cup of tea, so let's do this. Alright, so good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, whatever time you're watching this video. Today I'm going to be answering one of your questions. It comes from a young man by the name of Aaron Goldstein. Uh, basically, he wants to know what major should he pursue in order to teach English abroad after he graduates university. So I'll answer that question by asking you a question. Um, first, is teaching your passion? If it's not your passion, then I would recommend doing your major in whatever your passion was. For example, be that criminology, physiotherapy, business, whatever. It really doesn't matter when it comes to teaching abroad. What matters is that you've got a bachelor's degree. Without a bachelor's degree, it is still possible to teach abroad. However, your options obviously become a lot more limited because some countries impose visa restrictions uh, when it comes to people who come in the country to teach English abroad. On top of that, I'm currently teaching high school students that uh, are on their way to university. Uh, they don't want to be taught by someone who's not been to university themselves. That You know, you need to be on the next rung or the a couple of rungs higher than them on the ladder in order to uh, be a real authoritative figure for them. So I'm going to assume that English isn't your passion and what you just want to do is you want to take a year or two out and travel the world and not be broke at the end of it. Uh, you want to teach English and um, see some new countries and new cultures. That's fine. You can do that with literally any major. You can take a major in zoology and still teach English afterwards. What matters is that you've got that degree. After that, when it comes to applying for jobs, employers are obviously going to look for qualifications and experience. Now, if you're just starting out, you're not going to have any experience. But what you do have is your qualification, you have your bachelor's. What else can you get when you're looking for your first English job? Well, you can look into doing a TEFL course, or a TESOL course, or even a CELTA course. I'll put these names up on the screen so that you can Google them and find out which course is good for you. What these will do is they'll give you a little bit of practical knowledge about what you can come to expect when you teach English in a classroom. What is quite common is people travel abroad to teach English for a year and they end up enjoying it and they end up making a little bit of a career out of it. Uh, that's essentially what happened with me. Uh, I started out for a year, we're now into year seven. Now if you're planning on being in the EFL sector, the English as a foreign language sector for a long time, uh, then I would recommend doing a degree based around English or around TESOL. Um, that is going to really set you apart from a lot of other candidates and you're going to uh, progress quickly into really good jobs. If I could do things differently and I knew that I was going to teach abroad long term, what I would do is I would get my qualifications in my home country, uh, I'd get my teaching license and get a couple of years experience under my belt and then I'm going to be a much more attractive employee to international schools and essentially if you're working in, a, in an international school you're going to be experienced in different cultures but you're also going to be teaching in a professional environment where people are in it for the long haul and people take their jobs kind of seriously. Bottom line is if you want to teach English abroad for a year or two and you don't mind working in a public school or a language institute or something like that then it really doesn't matter what major you study. I know a guy that studied fashion and he taught English abroad. Not that there's anything wrong with studying fashion, it's just the two are not related in the slightest. Um, so I'm just giving that as an example to, uh, to show it really is open to anyone. As I said in a previous video, I would recommend teaching abroad. I know loads of people that have gone around the world, spent a load of money and you know they've had good memories and good times to show for it. but. Um, you know, you're left with a zero or negative bank balance at the end of it. At least with teaching, you can come abroad, you can experience new cultures, and you do get holiday as well, so you can explore new places. To summarise, you're passionate about teaching, pursue a teaching qualification in your home country. You don't really care about teaching, you just want to travel and teach a bit as well. Get a degree in any field, and then uh, apply for teaching jobs afterwards, and maybe um, add to your qualifications with a small teaching qualification uh, like a TESOL, TEFL or CELTA certification. I hope that's answered your question. If anyone's got any more questions, drop a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. To see what a day in the life of a teacher is like in Japan, check out my previous video. Subscribe to my channel for information about teaching abroad in general and also just to share some of my experiences teaching in Japan.